You're watching Metallicomania, and I'm your host, CJ. Welcome back to another album review, and today's album review will be We Came As Romans, Dark Bloom, brand new album from this band, and the first album that I've ever listened to from this band. And, yeah, I sometimes do this. I sometimes listen to albums that come from bands that I've never listened to before, and I'm glad I did this in this case. Um, yeah, let's get into it. I have to be honest, this is my first exposure to We Came As Romans, and I regret sleeping on this band because they are absolutely amazing, judging off this album, because I haven't listened to any of their other ones, but, yeah. I don't know if their older albums are different, I uh, will find out probably tomorrow or whenever I'm, like, doing something that I'm going to be listening to music for, or, yeah. Um... I don't know if I'm going to be the majority fan. I don't know if I'm going to be the majority of fans that say this album is great, but I know a lot of other, a lot of other people I've seen like this album. There's some that don't, but yeah, that's opinions. Uh, I like this album on every level. I think this album is perfect all the way through. I don't think there's a bad song on it. How they mix calming and bru brutal, just is amazing to me. Uh, it's a great mixture. It's a great uh, combination between uh, calming and brutal. I cannot list all the standout songs because, well, there's too many. There's way too many standouts on this album. I'd say probably all of the songs are standouts. So yeah, I'll prob I'll go into the uh, standout songs. Dark Bloom. I'm kind of going to the uh, standout songs kind of early because I didn't have a lot written down on the like actual review. I'm more of counting on the songs, the standout songs, to be more of the uh, review part, because there's a lot to talk about with these songs. Dark Bloom, a track deserving of being the title track. I'm a huge sucker for the first song, as you've watched my, if you've watched my videos before. If you haven't, yeah, that's basically what I do. I'm a huge sucker for the first song on an album, and it's no different here. I think the first song is beyond unbelievable. The heavy... The heaviness mixed with the great choruses makes this song absolutely amazing. Black Hole, the third song on the album. The vocal parts and how hard felt the song makes it great. Emotion on the second, the emotion is second to none. It is kind of second to none because I didn't, because I wrote this when I didn't hear the other ones just yet. I listened to Black Hole beforehand as one of the uh, ones that I listened to to see if I wanted to actually review this album. So yeah, uh, Daggers, aggressive song that is brutal with screaming and then has rapping, which is ab absolutely amazing. I wouldn't think I'd like that, but yeah, we got to try new things. Uh, we got to try new things. Uh, yeah. And... Golden, didn't have this one written down, but I'm going to throw it in here. It is about uh, their singer Kyle that passed away in 2018. And it is absolutely emotional and painful and just from the heart and just amazing. It's an amazing song. Kind of like One More Day, another emotion-driven piece that draws a sense of sadness. As it's about the... This is about their singer Kyle, uh, and it makes it very hard to get through. It this song is absolutely hard to get through, just as Golden and just as Promise You, as it's later. Like that's one that I'm going to be talking to as well, uh, talking about as well. Holding on to Embers, the vocal parts and the whole atmosphere of the song is amazing. The song gets pretty heavy at the at, gets pretty heavy in the interior of the song, but it's just absolutely great song and the last song that kind of screwed me up for this review because i was just getting off of listening i was just getting done with listening to the song when i wanted to i was going to review it and it was basically like two minutes after i listened to the song and i still felt kind of weird uh favorite song on this album definitely absolutely my favorite song on this album maybe my favorite song of the year like song is about another song that brings out the emotion of sadness song is harder to get through than an, than another day and is another song about 
their singer that passed away. Yeah, this song is hard to get through. It's harder to get through than any other song I've ever... Like, I can't think of a song that was more harder to listen to than this one. And it's very sad. It's a very sad song. And, yeah. It's my favorite on the album, absolutely. It's the most heartfelt song that... The heartfelt song that is on this album. It's the most emotional, more song that's inspired i don't know how to explain it but that's how i would explain it so that's what i think of this album hope everyone liked it and i will see everyone in the next video